Hello everybody, I'm doing another easy DIY. Everything is easy on what I do. So yeah, some of these things are optional to do. First thing, these are the things that you need. The optionals I'll do later. So, what you'll need is a... You can connect some um some shoe boxes or you could just use a big shoe box i'm using a big shoe box and yeah grab a smaller shoe boxes grab anything that you have that can be placed in the cage towel or bedding food and a bowl this is optional decoration. I'm just putting some decorations toys. Because she really likes these. So that. And if you have a dirty bowl, like this one, and you don't want to get your hands so sick, well, I'm sure everyone doesn't, because it's hard to take care of one, um, grab a tissue, and then grab a tissue box that has tissues in it, and then I'll explain that later once we get into it. So let's get started. First thing that you do is you either fill your little, um, this is going to be your cleaning area for it, so your little cleaning area. And you're going to fill it with bedding or chinchilla sand. I just think bedding is more likely for her to use it. But I'm not going to use this one, so I'm just going to put um, bedding in here because I don't want to waste any. Let's just do this. One fact is before you put um, this in here and you start doing this, check all of these uh, the corners for any openings. Mine has no openings, so we're good. Take out this and put in your towel for the thing. Or you can use different types of beddings so it doesn't just think this is part of it. It's a cage. Well, it's not a cage. It's a playpen. After that, put this back in. It's like a good So, after you've done that, Put in your bowl. Like I said, mine is dirty. So this is how you're going to do it. So you're going to take your tissue and your bowl. But keep the bowl in place and you just bring it over here. Take your tissue and you just cover it. Make sure the tissue is puffs ultra soft and strong so you don't. Um, end up killing your hamster with regular type. If you don't have that, this DIY may not be good for you if, if you have a, you know, dirty. <laughs> Make sure your bowl is not wet in any way. Um, even if it's just normal water, make sure it's not wet. Because it's going to wet in your food and it is going to make your food bad for it and it can't eat it. And put that in, and then fill it with yummy, yummy treats. Oh, it's yummy, yummy treats. Oh, not so yummy. Just yet. Gross. And one thing about this cage, it is not a cage. It is a playpen, and you should never, ever use something like this for a cage. Make sure they're being supervised while they're in this, or else, bam, 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 and your hamster's lost forever. Just kidding, not forever. Might find it right away, but it's lost. And you can sprinkle little treats at the bottom. I'm just going to sprinkle that much. And yeah. 
that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching this DIY. And if you are using this decoration, you can put it anywhere you'd like. I'm just going to hang it over. But yeah. Hope you like this DIY. Put in the comments more DIYs. Thank you. Bye.